All right, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete over at uh, DIY Auto School. I'm finishing up on this uh, Volkswagen Super Beetle. I had to put the front apron on it, which is a real fucking bitch. I'm going to tell you why it's a bitch, because you got to have this apron precisely installed for the hood latch to latch on, because if you don't, you're going to latch that hood on here and you'll never get it open. You'll have to cut a hole somewhere to get up in there to get it unlatched. So if you're going to do this job right here and you're a, uh, a Super Beetle owner and the front nose of yours is crushed, take your time, because I'm going to tell you what, you don't want to fuck that up when it comes to doing that. Anyway. This ain't about the Volkswagen. Uh, what I am doing though is, like I said, I'm finishing up on it. I just put full floor pans in it. And once again, if you're a Super Beetle owner, you're going to want to watch that video set definitely for sure if your floors are rusted out because I'm going to show you how to put those floor pans in, complete full floor plans without removing the body. Very simple, very easy, a little bit time consuming, but believe me, you, the DIY guy at home, you can do the fucking job. Welcome to DIY. Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. basics of welding because there's a lot of people out there that are welding all right and I'm talking about the DIY guys the hobby shop guys the at-home guys and they're actually using the wrong wire now there's different gauge wires to use for different stuff and on your welder you should have on the rollers of your welder the rollers that feed the wire through there should be two grooves on that um, those uh, wheels, okay? One should be for 030 and one should be for 022 or somewhere in that range, 023, 031, 32, something like that. Um, a lot of guys, when they get their welders, they're going to get a small roll of wire, which is the heavy stuff, the uh, 30, 32, okay? So they believe that, okay, this is what I got with it, so that's what I'm going to use. Now, when you're using the real thick wire on stuff like this, it's overkill, and you're going to melt through it more than you are going to weld it. All right? Even when you are using uh, the thick wire for, let me get this piece right here. All right? For something such as that right there, do you see what I'm saying? That's overkill. You don't need it. 99% of all the welding that I do at my shop is with 023. 023 is the overall best use wire for all automotive slash motorcycle slash hobby shop slash metal art uh, welding that you will ever need. 023 wire. Um, this is, I believe, uh, I believe this is eighth inch. Okay, eighth inch is pretty thick. A lot of guys out there welding that eighth inch, they're using the 030 wire. Uh, they got their heat way up. They're using a lot of gas to cool that, that heat down. Do you see what I'm saying? And you don't need it. All right? 023 wire is all you need. Um, unless you're welding something that's uh, a quarter inch to three-eighths inch thick or over, 023 wire is all you fucking need. I want to take a good look at my welder here. Um, 
Now this is a Miller 251 Miller Matic. It's the same as the brand new ones that are out today. Uh, this well is actually 15 years old. It works brand new, immaculate. Uh, if you take care of your machine, it will last forever. And I do a lot of welding over here at SWRNC. But uh, if you look at these readings right here, this 18.9 and 37.2, okay, this is the percentage of the wire, and then this is the volts, or you can call it the heat. So I got my heat at 18.9, and I'm running 372% wire. That's a real good setting right there. Pay attention to that. If you can get your welder to set like that using 023 wire, this setting right here is pretty much good for everything you're going to weld with your welder. Now, if you're going to go thicker uh, than, like I said, quarter inch or possibly 3 16 okay, you're going to want to go to 030. You're going to want to go to the 030. You're going to want to use the thicker wire because now you're getting into a, a thicker piece of steel. Do you see what I'm saying? A lot of guys out there, they're using that real thick wire and they're doing the overkill, they're warping their metal, they're not welding properly, they're wondering what the fuck's going on, my friend Pete. I'm fucking welding and sticking it in my fucking ass, but you know, it's not working out right. I'm going to tell you right now, it's probably the fucking wire you're using and you got the settings on it so fucked up that it's melting the metal. It's, it's, it's working like a cutting torch or a plasma cutter instead of a welder. And you know, I've made uh, several videos on welding and um, uh, welding settings, this, that, and the other, but this is basically about the wire, all right? It's the wire that we're talking about here. It's not really about um, how to weld or, or, or this, that, and the other, but I just want to go over a few things with you because I'm telling everybody out there, I'm watching your videos and I'm seeing you weld. And, and I'm noticing that the wire you're using is not 023. If you are doing what I'm doing or anything that has anything to do with hobby shop, DIY, automotive bullshit crap, I'm telling you now, 023 wire is the way to go. And if you have a welder that's half-assed decent, the rollers, these are the rollers right here. You can see that says 030. And then when I turn that over, all right, this says 035. All right, so this set of wheels right here is for the very, very big stuff. Uh, you can see the different sizing grooves there, 030 and then 035. And you know what? I'm thinking that a lot of people, they use 035 because they think, oh, it's big wire, and I'm going to get a giant weld, and it's going to hold forever. And you're fucking wrong. You're wrong about that. You shouldn't be using the 035. You should be using the uh, 023. Is that what this says right here? Is this 023? Yes. You can see right here. As we're looking down at that, that's 023 wire. And the wheels I'm talking about, you can see where they go on right here. Okay, that's another important situation is to make sure that you have your wire running in the proper uh, uh, wheel and the groove. All right? Without that actually doing anything, the wire's going to bundle up in here when you close that and you try to use it. Uh, when the wire's going through, it's going to get all tangled up and fucked up. So you got to use the right wheels for the right wire. And then we have a situation right here, and if you got a half-assed decent welder, it's going to show you the same situation that I got. And this is actually a schematic, a uh, left, and uh, an up and down and back and forth schematic that says, okay, if I'm using this gas here, and I got 023 wire, and I'm welding 8th inch plate steel, I'm going to set it at uh, 18.0 and then 385. That's basically where I have mine set. And I also told you that I'm using eighth inch maximum. Okay, so that setting right there would be good for all these metals right here, believe it or not. Um, the way that you uh, use that setting with all of these, you learn how to pull your welder back and uh, put it down. Do you see what I'm saying? Because the farther that you pull the welder back, where are we at here? All right, when you're using your trigger and when you're real close like that, you're getting maximum heat. You're getting maximum 18 volts. But when you pull it back to here, do you see what I'm doing here? I'm actually variable rating the heat range as I pull it back. The farther you're back, the less heat that you're going to get. And what you're actually doing is you're manually controlling your heat up here by using this right here, moving it back and forth from where you're welding. So to get the maximum heat, you would want it real close like this. But when you're doing this welding right here on the 022 gauge or smaller, all right, you're going to want to hold it about right here. Do you see what I'm saying? 
all right, you're going to want to hold it back a little bit because what that's going to do, that's going to lower your heat range and it's going to manually go ahead and fluctuate the situation where everything will work out properly. I want you to pay attention to this. This is 023 wire. That's what I use 99% of the time. And it goes to the maximum of 3 sixteenths. I believe that's what I was saying. If you go anything over 3 sixteenths, you're going to have to go up to 30 gauge or over. Do you see what I'm saying here? So I think I know what I'm doing and I, and I think I'm showing you the proper situations of welding. The thickness of the gauge of that wire is the most important situation of welding that you will ever run into. If you're using 35, 035 gauge wire to weld sheet metal or anything less than 3 16 thick, you are fucking yourself in the ass and it will not look good it'll be a shitty fucking weld it'll be a splatter weld a gorilla weld uh, just a sloppy sloppy weld and and you need to change your wire down you need to concentrate on using 023 wire instead of the big boy shit we're talking about 35 I've seen a lot of guys are using 035 wire it's ridiculous it's it's not a good situation to use that big of a wire when you're only welding anything smaller than 3 16 okay? It's ridiculous. So I basically have my heat range set up just a little bit higher than what the uh, manufacturer uh, uh, requests me to do, but that's okay because I'm used to that setting right there, and that's the setting that I've been using here for the last month or so, month or two. Uh, every now and then I'll come by and I'll hit these, and, and I'll forget what the numbers were, and then I'll have to reset it. But I'm always close into this fucking range right here with the 023 wire, whether I'm welding 022 gauge sheet metal or eighth inch angle iron, it doesn't really matter. I'm using my 023 wire to do it all. So let's get a couple spot welds on this sheet metal here, and I'm going to show you what the 023 does. Uh, now, keep in mind that this bug is very old, and we cleaned it up the best way we could. It's got a lot of brass in it. So, um, from the factory or it got wrecked or something and somebody brazed all the shit together, I cleaned it off the best I can. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple spot welds on it. We're going to see what happens with our 023 wire set at 18.7 and then what was the other one? Uh, 372%. And always make sure to use the proper uh, helmet. Okay, this is one of those kind that go dark and light. I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about. Make sure that you got the proper... Uh, safety equipment when you're welding. A lot of guys they won't use helmets. They'll just hold it like this right here and then they'll go like that and then they'll spark it and then okay don't fucking do that. Don't do that. That's dangerous and you're going to be doing shitty fucking sloppy work. If you look right there, you can see I got a nice pool of weld going. Uh, turned out to be a great plug weld or spot weld, whatever you want to call it. Minimal grinding. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove these self-tapping screws out of here. And then I'll go ahead and fill those holes in as well. We'll take our body hammer, clean that up, grind it down, and it'll be a done deal. 023, that's all you need. Don't get the 30, 35, or any bigger. You're going to waste your time. You're not, you're not out there 
building fences, you're not building bridges, you're not doing anything like that. All you're doing is basically what I'm doing and you're having a good time doing it. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Time to tell you, don't use the O30 or the 35 gauge wire. Use the O23, that's all you're going to need. O23 is the overall around best wire that you can use. We'll see you later, take it easy, and hopefully your welding is going to be a lot better and a lot nicer using the proper wire. watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.